guys, NickSeff here, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how you can make your own Five Nights at Freddy's um, fan game in Click Team Fusion 2.5. So, um, first of all, uh, this cannot be made on the free version. Yes, it cannot. No, like, you get it. It can't be made on the free version, because free version, for some reason, you can only make freaking, what's it called, four fr free frames. You can't make, like, billions of these. Freaking cell phone. Should have known. Anyways. Um, now I have a, a lot of frames. Great. Um, nice. Me? Good, good job, me. Nice. Anyways. First of all, to begin this, you just want to quickly, um... Okay. There's only one frame here. You want to click on this, this application. Um, have to... Here, click on this little computer icon. And then this is going to be like, um, 640 by 480. You want to ch change that to 1920 by 1080, because it just looks better. Okay, here, you want to make this, the border color, black, and then you want to go to freaking, um, no, actually, yeah, that's really, it. you want to make it black. And so, yeah, it looks better. Then here, pre yeah, there. So here should all, actually, no, you want to make, on the frame, it, it's black. Then you want to double click it. Then you want to right click in a certain object and you double click active and click here. Now, this blue diamond thingy will pop up. So, basically, what this is is this is basically every fan freaking in the freaking click team. <laughs> basically, everything's a freaking active. So now you just want to double click this and click on import. I'm not actually gonna do that because <laughs> this will open up your files. Um, so, like, you can select the texture of, um, this. Okay? This. This little thing is not gonna be well this anymore. So. Yeah, you get it. Here. So, once you click this, you wanna select, well, the texture of it. I made another application just so I didn't have to open this. Um, oh yeah, I would suggest using Blender. Um, for this. I'm in Office here in Blender. Stay tuned for Five Nights at Carl's. It's coming out on Game Jolt soon. Um, like, a lot of the models are made in Blender. Anyway, so here, you want to make the, your animatronic. You want to basically insert the active object, you know. Like, insert an active op a active object. Delete this. Okay, now, um, you have your texture. Here, now you just want to make... Put this like right here then you want to run the frame to see how it looks like because that can happen and you just want to like pretty, pretty much adjust this so like you can actually see it and it's not in the position where you can see the cut that I made there I'm just gonna actually blur this so you can see the freaking ears run frame there see record or my recording thing is blocking it out, but that's not the point. You can see him right there. I. So now you want to insert an active object. Insert object active. Double click. Actually, no. Um, you want to stretch it out. I'm doing this because I'm not gonna import a new game button texture, but like you can make them scratch with the cool pixel font, whatever. You get it. Here, and then I'm just gonna go right here. Use um the first font that I can find. Let's see. Um, let's see, bald. Let's make this like 14. There. Then just want to type out new game. Make this white. Put it right here. Just want to hit OK. Then probably you would want to actually scale this. Uh, this regardless, weird. Um, border. I would use like scratch or paint on that to make the buttons, but okay. <laughs> but wait, okay, this is what I got. Okay, so then you just want to position this where you want it to be. I'm gonna put it like frame. Not over there, definitely not over there. Here. Here, new game. Nice. Now, if you want animations for him, you have to come over here. Since I'm. I don't know what these things are that very well. So, yeah. 
you would basically is you would essentially do this copy you know, paste and then here let's say you want his eyes to be red Okay, you want this to be red. Nice. And then just loop this, and then you hit play, and then you should see that. It should flash like a billion times. Lower the speed like, like what, 10? There. Oof. See, there, just like that. There's, I messed up. There, okay. Um, you can like, insert other animations of him twitching or other stuff like that. You know. Okay, so then you want to insert another active object. And I'm sorry, I forgot to scale this. Yes. Like this. Put it right there. These are like the little arrows that happen in FNAF when you hover over the things, you know? Let's do two arrows. Why the hell is this red? Oh, yeah. Here, just like this. Then <laughs> I want to make this a little bigger, just like that. There. Then you want to insert another active object. This is just so. This is kind of like because if you would hover over this, it's not the new game actual thing. It isn't that well the best thing to hover over because you get out of your mouse here and the thing's not going to show. Only going to show if you hover over a letter. So to make it easy, or you're gonna make a trigger. Stretch it out. Um, I'm making a lot of these sections actually um, here in Clip Team, but like I usually make them in you know, Blender or Scratch. One of those two, always. Here. So then you wanna click on this, and you wanna click on um, this little site slash position thingy. Um, not size, like display options actually. Not yeah, display options, then you want to uncheck visible start. Then, actually, I'm going to put this over here. Then you're just going to clone this. So, you know, you want to insert another active object. Oops. Um, and then you want to check the, the, like, width of this, just so it looks nice and the height okay I need to done something wrong because there's no way that oh wait that is that that's actually kind of funny anyway so clear and then just make um the new game from the new game thing no um continue continue not new game I'm sorry my bad continue okay and whatever the size of this is, wait, dang it, I made the font, not the font, you get it. Okay, this doesn't look very good right now, but like, this is just, just, um, this is, I'm just trying to do something basic, so you get the idea of what you're supposed to do. My recommendation is never do stuff on Click Team, unless it's just like an actual tester, um, a freaking tutorial, <laughs> you don't want to open your freaking files, sorry for saying freaking too much, but anyways, here, you want to clone this object, and put it right there, it goes literally perfectly, anyways, oh yeah, by the way, don't just copy and paste it, because all the code that you use in here is, whoops, wrong button, is going to apply one, so never copy and paste it, okay, clone, okay, There, you just want to make the triggers. Doesn't matter how they look, actually. But, like, just make sure they're filled. I never usually make the screen. There. So then you just want to go to the display options and uncheck visible at start. So when you run the frame, this happens. Yeet. Oh yeah, you want to keep the thing on loop, so the animation actually plays. See? Okay, now you want to go right here in Event Editor, shortcut is Control, Control E, and then you want to make a new condition. 
and then so it's full screen um where is this location dude i always forget where the full screen thing is oof okay um here i think it's the start of frame yeah you just want to add start of frame like always here start a frame screen and then you want to right click on the little horse chest like one thing then screen and then full screen mode so then when you run the application it's going to be in full screen if you wanted to play a music like the main menu title thing you just want to go on samples play and loop sample and then you're just going to like add the thing I'm gonna click browse and then you're gonna um find your sound file um open it and then just put nine 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 um a lot of nines so it, it loops basically forever because it's not like in scratch where you can just simply put forever anyways so you want to go um where is this here new condition and then the mouse Check for mouse pointer over an object, and then you want to select a new game, which is a red one. And then you want to... Crap, I forgot which one's which. Frickin' Discord! Oof. Um, this one's active free. I would rename, the, rename this to... Arrows... Um, new... Oops, new game. Arrows new game. There. Um, freaking Discord. Anyways... Um, here. So, where the hell is Error's new game? Here. Then you want to do make visibility. Visibility. Make objects reappear. And then you just want to put this over here. And then you want to hit negate. And then you want to go right here. And then make it, um, visibility. Make object invisible. So then you basically just want to drag this over here and change this from, from the red one to the green one. And then you just want to basically find the other one, which I'm pretty sure is this. So then you just want to do. Wait, I, I have to rename this a bit. Um, active six to arrows continue. There. So then arrows continue, right? Okay. Uh, make what the hell? Um, whoops, I don't. No way, that's there. Okay, here. Add that there. Reappear. Put this over here. Negate. We can get there. Game contract invisible. There. So if you run the frame now, see it's in full screen, and then that's there. There is no sound and no title, which makes it very anticlimactic. <laughs> but yeah, you can do like right here. I forgot the sound thing, but whatever. Um, yeah. So then, you just just to test this, you want to do the mouse. Here, I'm gonna click on new condition. The mouse. User clicks on an object. Left one. Yeah, single click. Okay. And then you just want to get the new game trigger. And then you want to go right here and start our, our controls. And then you want to do jump. And then you want to actually make a new frame here. Like this. Hey, we should go to me free frames. Um, no, I, I'm pretty sure I will not be covering save data on this tutorial. But okay. Oh yeah, by the way, just so this is a bit more organized, I will name this like menu. And this here news pa paper. Here. Oof. Um, duplicate this. Actually, no, let me go back here. And then make this brown. See, it's gonna, trust me, this is gonna be way better. So now, there's this brown thing. And then you can insert an active object. That's gonna be your newspaper. Um, here, set so my newspaper. Line frame, horizontal center, line frame. Radicals there. Okay, so now I just want to clear this, paint this. I know I'm gonna make this. Up. Yeah, whatever. Screw that. Um, here I'm gonna make this blank and then just say, "Looking for a job?" Question mark. And then just put this like over here. 
then, yeah, there, we can merge all, um, come down to, in parentheses, to, okay, I'm not gonna spell it, um, uh, whatever, come down to this random pizzeria that sucks. I don't know. Um, come down to this random pizzeria that people go missing. Don't worry. We'll pay you. Winky face. I don't know, okay? There, th that's great. Perfect. Couldn't be, couldn't be better. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. Um, look, I have to add a number, like, dial, um, 911. Oh, well, I'm turning this into a mean game, ain't I? Okay, now, guys, please do not, um, take this seriously. This is a joke. This is a joke game, okay? A joke game. Here, um, nice. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna add, just so, it, just so there's a cool title and it doesn't suck. Even more than it's supposed to. I'm joking, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this game a piece of crap. But, yeah. Um... Five, five nights at a random pizzeria. Five nights at a random pizzeria. Very nice. The best title ever. Okay, I'm actually gonna make this like this. Actually, everything I needed on. Yeah. Five. Nights, oops, nights at a random pizzeria. I should have named this Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, <coughs> five, <coughs> my god, Five Nights at Freddy's C137 edition. That's a Rick and Morty um, reference if you get it, comment down below. Um, Whatever. There. Five nights at a random pizzeria. So now if we run... Whoops. Um, then actually here you want to make... Click on the new game trigger. And then right here you want to click on jump to frame. Newspaper frame to newspaper. Then you want to run the application. And then watch this. Here's your awesome game. Wait. I need I need to freaking um, make the, t the title work. I need, a, I need to see five, five nights at a random pizzeria. Uh, whoops. Okay, guys, now if we run the application, here, five minutes and we're in a pizzeria. I can um, adjust that later. The new game, continue. Continue does absolutely nothing. If you click new game, this happens. Don't worry, we will play, pay you. Winky face. Okay, um, I'm sorry, my bad. Before, you want to add here, um, transaction, transaction to fade. Here and then the same here. Fade. Not like um. What's door? Okay. Nice. Um. Fade. Wait. I don't care. Like one second for the reason. There. And now, if you run the application, you click new game. It cool. It's cool because it has this little um cool little freight transaction. Now, if you stop the game, this happens. And that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your notifications. And while you're at it, you know, please like, like um, that video I made in Five Nights at Candy's 2, Night 6. I actually quite want to play 720 mode. So, yeah, get that to 10 likes and I will. See ya.